Okay, back again. I've just quickly gone round and uh, cleaned the edges. I think we're still zoomed in here. We go, just zooming out, and uh, I'm going to just show one test being performed, and that's the pH test. The phone is already uh, talking to this. You can see the little Bluetooth symbol there. So all I have to do now is uh, give it a little rinse, take a test sample. I'm going to do this out in the sun, although the clouds are covering a little bit. In fact, I'm just going to use the cover for it. So we're just going to zero that. Hopefully you can see. So that's on zero. Just going to lift that off. Now we're going to press read. And it's going to give us a 10 second countdown. Actually, I might not have enough water in this, so I'm not going to rely on this reading. <laughs> so, 10 second countdown, take it out, cap back on, and a reading is 7.8. I was expecting it to be a fraction high uh, just because of the tap water that we've put in. Uh, the tap water is coming out at a fairly high pH uh, at the moment. Um, but I'll monitor that again tomorrow and uh, if it's still at that height uh, we will uh, just add some of the uh, reducer, pH reducer to it, just a capful or two and just see if we can get it down to 7.6, 7.5 but I'm not going to worry about that uh, just today. Actually, I'm going to do the chlorine test as, uh, as well. I've just uh, synced that with the app and it's now on chlorine. Important to do the pH test before chlorine tests. Any residue can affect the pH reading, so you do that first. So again, I'm just going to cover it with my hand this time from the bright light. I'm just going to zero that. Oops, didn't press it hard enough. So that's zero. And we're going to go read. Ten seconds. Just swirl it around. I think the chlorine level is too low because I can see it's not as dark as normal. Just going to cover that up slightly. And, well, actually... It's fine, we've got a reading of 3. Uh, most bars are kept at between 1.5 and 3. I try to get it between 3 and 5. So uh, hopefully you can see that. And that's absolutely fine, no issues there. So that's all I'm going to bother reading with uh, on camera. Uh, what I'm going to do next, we are going to add some uh, spa shock that is a powder and uh, then we're going to put some of this uh, spa scale uh, doctor in there that's obviously a liquid and uh, for us we're putting in 23 milliliters uh, every week and uh, I forget what the shock uh, figure is but it's uh, so many grams it's not uh, not very much something like 25 grams so the the big five litre container of that's going to last for absolutely ever. Uh, once uh, those are popped in, probably just going to put a little bit more of chlorine, uh, chlorine granules in, not very much, just to top it up a tiny little bit and then that will be good uh, hopefully till uh, tomorrow. And uh, you know other than a, a general wipe around, uh, that is pretty much it for a Friday. Uh, you can wipe over the underneath edge, uh, you know, underneath of the spa cover with a very mild bleach solution to kill anything nasty on there. Uh, but I'm just going to add these chemicals now, uh, just wipe the surface down so the water doesn't dry and leave marks on that. And 
that'll be it for this week uh, so yeah that's it thanks for watching uh, just to remind everybody if you, you know if, you, if you're looking at a spa uh, this is the myline Venus spa it's made by a Hungarian company called Wellis and uh, five weeks it's been an absolute joy uh, got to keep on top of the maintenance and uh, you know other than that it's uh, been very very enjoyable uh, indeed so uh, yep catch you later